Behind every great person, there are others working hard behind the scenes. These individuals often receive less credit than the main figures, but their contributions are invaluable. In SpaceX's case, this person is Gwyn Shotwell. As the president and chief operating officer of SpaceX, Shotwell is the driving force behind the company's remarkable growth. What she recently did with the Starship project makes her legacy even bigger. We are here to talk about this development in this video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. If you're wondering, who is this woman? Then you're probably not a huge SpaceX fan. Gwyn Shotwell is the most important person at SpaceX right after Musk. Before joining SpaceX, she worked at the Aerospace Corporation, where she gained a lot of experience in technical and managerial roles. She joined SpaceX in 2002, just a year after it was founded. At that time, SpaceX wasn't the big company it is today. Back then, SpaceX was a small startup with big dreams, but not a lot of resources. The company was struggling to prove itself and its future was uncertain. Musk knew he needed someone with both technical skills and business sense to help the company succeed. He found that person in Gwyn Shotwell. In the early 2000s, SpaceX was facing a lot of challenges. Their first rocket, Falcon 1, was still in development and money was tight. They were working on a small budget, trying to build a reliable and cost-effective rocket. Every failed test added more pressure, but Shotwell made a big difference from the start. She joined as vice president of business development, and one of her first big tasks was to get contracts and funding for a rocket that hadn't even flown yet. This was a huge challenge. She had to convince government agencies, satellite companies, and other potential clients to take a chance on SpaceX. Her ability to sell the vision and potential of SpaceX was crucial in getting those early contracts. She managed to secure SpaceX's first significant contracts, and these early wins provided the money and credibility SpaceX needed to keep developing. In 2006, SpaceX signed a $278 million contract with NASA to develop the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. This was a turning point for SpaceX. As the company grew, Shotwell's role expanded. She became president taking care of the day-to-day -day operations and making sure SpaceX met its goals. During her leadership, SpaceX grew from just a small startup to the most dominant space company in the world. They proved everyone wrong with their first successful launch of the Falcon 9 rocket in June 2010. Seeing the success of the Falcon 9, SpaceX decided to develop the Falcon Heavy. The idea was to create a rocket that could carry larger payloads to space. Falcon Heavy made its debut on February 6, 2018, launching from the same pad at Kennedy Space Center that once served Apollo missions. This launch was particularly memorable because it carried Musk's personal Tesla Roadster into space. Now, both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy have become among the most successful rockets in the world. Falcon 9, in particular, has been a workhorse for SpaceX, becoming the most frequently used rocket. In 2023 alone, it was launched more than 90 times. Above everything else, Starship represents the biggest success that Gwyn Shotwell has been a part of. Musk first introduced the concept of what would become Starship in 2016. Starship is designed to be a fully reusable transportation system capable of carrying both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. It stands at 121 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, making it the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. When fully reusable, Starship has a payload capacity of a 150 metric tons and 250 metric tons in an expendable configuration. The intended price per launch is as low as $2 million thanks to its reusability and the economies of scale SpaceX aims to achieve. The development cost for Starship has been substantial, with estimates running into billions of dollars. Starship has seen several critical flight tests. The first integrated flight test took place on April 20, 2023. This flight marked the first time the complete Starship and Super Heavy booster stack launched together. 
Despite initial successes, multiple engine failures during ascent led to the loss of thrust vector control. The flight termination system was activated and the vehicle was destroyed. Nonetheless, the data gathered from this test was invaluable for future development. For the second flight test, conducted on November 18, 2023, SpaceX implemented significant modifications based on lessons learned from the first test. These included a steel water deluge flame deflector and improvements to the launch mount and booster. The plan was for the booster to perform a boostback burn and for the Starship to re-enter and splash down in the Pacific Ocean. However, the booster experienced engine failures during the boostback burn, leading to its destruction. The Starship also failed to complete its mission due to an explosion triggered by a planned vent of liquid oxygen. The third flight test, on March 14, 2024, focused on demonstrating a hot stage separation, where the second stage engines ignite while still attached to the booster, pushing them apart. Despite enhancements to the fire suppression system and an updated flight safety system, the booster suffered a loss of engine performance, causing progressive engine failures and the subsequent loss of the vehicle. Each of these flights required rigorous regulatory approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. We all remember how the first launch took months, even after the rocket was ready, because the FAA had not yet granted the launch license. This delay was a significant hurdle, but Shotwell's diplomacy was crucial in securing the necessary permissions. Musk himself has been very vocal about the slow and frustrating process of obtaining these licenses. He has publicly criticized the FAA, saying that under their rules, humanity will never get to Mars. Despite these challenges, Gwyn Shotwell's diplomacy has been crucial in forming effective partnerships with agencies like NASA, the FAA, and the FCC, which are essential for Starship's launch operations. Currently, she is working hard to secure approval for Starship's fourth flight, which is expected to happen by early June. It's not only Starship, Shotwell has also been very important in SpaceX's financial success. Despite significant technical advancements, SpaceX hasn't made substantial profits recently. They reported losses of $968 million in 2021 and $559 million in 2022, with a small profit of $55 million in the first quarter of last year. The Starship program has been a major expense, and even Musk cannot cover all the costs alone. As president and top salesperson, Shotwell has been essential in keeping SpaceX financially stable. To understand how SpaceX generates revenue, we must look at their business operations. SpaceX's main technology is rockets, and Shotwell has built profitable operations around this to support long-term projects. One key example is Starlink, their satellite internet network. Initially, providing internet services from space wasn't Musk's primary goal, but Shotwell's financial plan transformed it into a significant revenue stream. By creating and launching its own satellites, SpaceX established a sustainable business on Earth while developing technology for future Mars missions. As of early 2023, about 46 to 51 percent of all active satellites are Starlink, generating substantial revenue. According to Musk, Starlink's satellite connectivity unit is now breaking even. Sources suggest that Starlink sales will surpass the launch business next year, potentially bringing in over $10 billion in total revenue. This would constitute the majority of SpaceX's income. If you ask me, that's a genius strategy by Shotwell. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.